All right, I'm back. And I hope you guys come back that was watching before. Uh, I believe I've invited everyone. Now we're just waiting on people to pop in. Who is this? That's, that's oh. Liberty Janie. Oh, there okay. we go. <laughs> it's good to see you. Hello, everyone. Hey. Um, What's up? <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Liberty Janie, would you like to go ahead and tell us about yourself? Uh, I know you won the InfoWars Reporter Contest, but past that, I don't know a whole lot else. So. Um. Sure, I guess. Are my levels okay? Can you yeah, me? you sound great. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I yeah, I submitted to Infowars for the reporter contest. Uh, I ended up going to a Mitt Romney rally. I'm not a Mitt Romney fan, um, but what I discovered there was a lot of uh, it, I, it, it was very weird considering what candidates usually have going on at their rallies. Uh, no one was there. Um, there were a couple of Ron Paul supporters there holding signs. Um, there was a lot of police there. Um, mm. What the heck? That's Ron Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Musical interlude. No way. She's got her own theme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gosh, hey, I wish I had the one. That one, hey. she can hear us. There she is. Do you guys know who she is? That's that's the Ron Paul girl, the official <laughs> Ron Paul girl. Like you got Barack Obama girl. She right. She is the official Ron Paul girl. Oh wow. I'm excited to get her on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh Welcome. yeah. I I seen that you had interviewed Dr. Paul's wife. How did you pull that off, Ann? Um, me and Carol like this. I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, I just love her to death, and I've talked or for the past three years. I just always, um, I think I'll probably interview her again. She just, um, she has a way about her that kind of, you know, calms the whole storm after the Rand Paul stuff. It's it's really weird looking at your face. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I really am. <laughs> it, it don't look at me. Look at one of the pretty people. He's got yeah. a great deadpan face. I love it. I love it. No, um, uh, yeah, yeah. The the what was weird was the whole RT thing where they played a clip of me and they played they took a random clip from YouTube and it, with a sticker on my forehead and they played it for Obama girl and and they were like you got competition and she's like oh she sounds like a late night talk show host and but well, you did you hear that thing and it was crazy. I actually seen that. They picked and, uh, the worst clip ever, and I go, I'm going to kick Obama girl's butt, or I ass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she's like, whatever. Yeah, she My parents <laughs> were like, what is that? Well, nice. everybody introduce yourself to uh, Anne. Her name is Anne, and like I said, she is the official Ron Paul girl. So uh, we'll start <laughs> with you, Mr. Purdy. Go ahead and introduce yourself and let her know a little bit about yourself. Okay, uh, my name is Matthew Purdy. Walked across the country, bring awareness to the dangers of tyrannical government, and uh, produce a series about it. And I'm always trying to do what I can to uh, help the movement. So awesome. I pretty much know I know all y'all, but really, oh. yeah, really, you are a stalker. I really stalk all of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is nothing to brag about. Do you watch, <laughs> do you watch Alex Jones? And oh, I, I, that's how I started here in Texas. You know, he's big time. Um, so you but, stalk him as well, is what you're saying. <laughs> but I'm not really, I don't listen to him too much anymore, no. I would say. I like Tom Woods and yeah. Stephen Molyneux and uh, that kind of stuff, a little bit more. I need to ask you guys a technical question, I apologize for this, but is the camera panning to whoever's talking? I believe it is, yeah. Okay, okay. Sometimes it freezes on one person, and sometimes... I've never done... This is pretty cool. You can share documents and everything. Yes. Does anyone have <laughs> a video they want to share? Mm. Hey, hey, Anne's... Uh, one of Anne's most popular YouTube videos is her changing... <laughs> changing into different Ron Paul shirts. Where right? I don't talk at all. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, are you going to Tampa? Anybody going to Tampa? Yeah. I'll be there. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm thinking like about it. Before. You've got to go. Got to go. I don't have a place to stay yet either, so we can find a place. Yeah. Outside of the road somewhere. Or something. Well, I, I'm definitely going. I'm not taking the mask, though. I, I'll be just another face in the crowd there. So. Oh. No, come on, Lawless. You need the mask. Well, it's just not the same. No, this is the problem. Every time I do a lot of protest in the mask, but every time I go somewhere to protest in the mask, 
reporters come up to me literally and they're like, go stand with the Ron Paul people. And I'm like, I'm, <laughs> go stand with the Ron Paul people. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm not going to do that because I know what they're doing. That way later on in the news that night they can say, look how crazy the Ron Paul people are. <laughs> They have but a man I'm, with a mask. Exactly. When I, when I press that, did that do something? Did I mess something up? You just pulled somebody else into the room is what you did. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You did it. You did it. I did that, yeah. Hey, John, what's up, buddy? John. Man, oh. he's gone. Are you doing a screen recording? I can do a screen recording. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. A screen recording of, the, of us talking. Oh, no, no, this is actually being live oh, streamed. Private. Oh, it's being live streamed. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you should have put a little bit more makeup on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Oh, no, 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 I know how careful, Lawless. Careful, my man. man. I've been hearing some mean comments lately. I I have watched every one of her videos. I'm a huge fan of hers. I would never, never uh -huh. insult her. So there's one lady that's like, "How you can't be a girl? You're like 50, over 50." <laughs> and I'm like, man, that just hurts there. But uh, what do you guys think about this global tax that the UN and the Obama administration are trying to hammer out? Basically, the U.S. citizens will be paying a global tax to the U.N. I'm I'm not a U.S. citizen anymore. I don't think I kind of uh, uh, gave up. You know that? Do you know that video about um, just the writing the after? Um, I'm just uh, you know you remember that? It's like where um, you could just disown your citizenship. I'm oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I yes. kind of did that. I wrote my what do you call it? I went blank. You're not a guy, citizen kind of. anymore. I'm no, you I renounced it. You renounced your citizenship. Yeah. John. I think we should... Oh, go ahead. The, okay, this is John. Okay, guys, you got to know who John, Hi, John is. Because John is a producer of shows over at the Ron Paul Tribune. So get to know this, this fella. He's up and coming. He's producing some mad, crazy shows. What shows do you produce, John? We can't hear you. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I wonder if though if he could go over to Liberty Chat today and tape for me. I bet he could. He is very skilled. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Anne's not here anymore. We can talk bad about her. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's a joke. It's a joke. I feel so bad because I can see his lips moving, but I I can't read them. Oh well, hey, look, I'll tell I'll tell them what John runs shows over there at Liberty Chat, the Ron Paul Tribune. I don't, I can't remember the name of the show, John. I wish I could plug it. Talking know, Liberty or Liberty Talk? Is it Liberty Talk? No. <laughs> no. It's like drunk show. Is, is it is it Ladies for Ron Paul or something like that? Liberty Ladies? No. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Naked Ron Paul people. <laughs> I'm joking. No. You should help us do our Girls for Ron Paul nationwide broadcast that I can't figure out how to do myself. Will you, John? There's 2,000 of us, and Did we all have the same t-shirts. Just yes or no. Did he freeze? He froze up. <laughs> he, we, oh, wait, no, he's there. I, I hope you can get it worked out, John. That sucks. That's... <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anne's funny, isn't she? <laughs> Can't sit down. Sorry, uh, I to show stuff. I'm so, hold on. <laughs> so, so I think we should, we, we should put a tax on the UN. Like, 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 let's just do it. Like right, let's it, just put a tax on them. If we had a vote right now, like, get what the fuck out of the UN, it? would you guys all be for getting the fuck out of the UN? I'm pretty sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Everybody, like, yeah. who to, like if they opened it up for the American people to vote, I guarantee it'd be like ten percent of idiots might be like, no, let's stay. Yeah, <laughs> everybody be like, get the fuck out. That's why. <laughs> that's why they don't let us vote on anything. They really know what the answer is already. Oh yeah, oh totally. Yeah. Uh, 
John, you want to try to talk again? See, I was getting all serious. But not cute. That is cute. Why don't you put it on? Because I'm not. I'm being serious tonight. I'm wearing black, but there's. I can't see the video. Maybe Are I should. You? No, oh, you got I it. I can see what red. Huh. Isn't that cute? That is very cute. Nice. Or it says, I'm a Ron Paul girl. you got to get one too, girl. Oh, no, this is the one you have to get. That's the one that all of, all of a lot of girls have. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to do a nationwide broadcast and show all the women in each city and show them all. We'll all be matching, color-coordinated. And, you know, you could be like a New Year's Eve kind of thing where you go to each city. But I don't know how to do that. I just can do one live stream at a time. That's all. John would be the guy to talk to if he could talk. There he is again. Him and his family. His family made it on oh. to the Mama show. <laughs> Let's hear you, John. Try it. Nothing. Nada. Oh, I heard him. I should Try it again, John. She said she heard you. I should put my headphones on, I bet. Don't you know sign language? <laughs> Come on. Does everyone go to the Ron Paul Tribune that's here? Yeah. Last okay. time I was there, I did this whole thing and talked like, or like this, you know? And no one laughed. I mean, me and this other guy were doing this and, like, oh. communicating, you know? Yeah. That, that, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> it was back in the day. Now I'm on Liberty <laughs> Chat, which I guess is kind of a rival of Ron Paul Tribune, maybe. Is it? I don't I know. I didn't know. I don't well, know no, either. they're both, actually, they both have links to each other and stuff. Do you ever do any of the shows over there, Ann? Well, tonight I am. In, an, in 30 minutes, I'm doing... What Richard Gilbert, the guy from Lawyers for Ron Paul, and uh, and like five other people from Lawyers for Ron Paul, Porter Davis. Are they still and, doing the lawsuit? I've been hearing rumors they quit. Well, they got rid of the executive committee. It's a whole long story, and that's why I'm doing it just to kind of make figure this out. And t we need to stop infighting and all this crap. And um, you know what I mean? Uh, infighting. Or you, you know, I mean, where we were mainly, you know, when the RAND stuff was going on, but then, right. with, with, then with the lawyers from Paul, we had a lot of, you know, a lot of time was spent on Daily Paul, I know, talking about it, you know what I mean? Where we yeah. could spend it on issues like cancer or, you know, the Fed or stuff like that. Right. But, but we need to still need to get them elected, and I say whatever anyone can do, do it. And um, this is our last chance, and... And then I found out stuff about Gilbert that he's really a cool guy, and the letter he wrote was actually a draft. You know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't. I don't. Oh, I'm, okay. really, I'm really pissed off at Melissa Melton. She was supposed to be here tonight. Oh, was she? Yes. Do you oh, that would have been awesome. Is, by chance? I don't. No. She's the, the one of the other winners over at the InfoWars thing there. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, she actually writes a lot. I've seen a few of her stories published on their site lately. On the Prison Planet for or the membership yeah. one? Yeah. Well, yeah. No, don't you don't think that's like a wars. dating site, kind of? Doesn't that remind you of a dating site a little bit? I, I don't use it that much. I just but go to the uh, InfoWars. There's a lot of dating groups. You know? Really? Yeah. Like half of the groups may, are like singles for, for Liberty or, you know, I don't know. You're Dang, I need to pay a visit. <laughs> yeah. I uh, haven't gone on that one site. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I've on Friday night. Someone, will, site. someone will be like, I feel lonely. Did she freeze up? I think so. Yeah. She said I feel lonely. She freeze up. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> you could not. It's gonna her. be okay. We need to give her some, some cool, you know, some some comfort. <laughs> it's okay. We're here for you. Unfreeze. Oh, that's too bad. Warmth. Holy shit! What the? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? She's multiplying. It's like that movie Species. Why is that? Why am I there? 
<laughs> you said, hey, Anne, you said, I feel lonely. And then you froze. <laughs> no, I did? Yeah, you did. It's well, so I said funny. someone posted on there on Friday night, like, I feel lonely. Yeah, that's too funny. Well, now I can see myself. Now I do need to, to go do some stuff to my. No, no, oh, no, you kicked yourself out. No. Oh. Yeah, that's better, huh? Yeah, that's way better. That's pretty freaky, man. I don't know. So, Andrew, what state are you in? I'm actually in Florida. Oh, you're already 